Hey guys I'm Papa Joe and welcome back to a new Warzone mobile video on my channel. In this video I want to share with you some more information you need to know for the upcoming COD mobile game. If you are new to my channel I would be happy if you are part of my community and subscribe to my channel and give my video a thumbs up. Activate the bell to never miss a Warzone mobile video from me. Let's jump into the video now. We start the video with some known information about the next mobile game from Activision and after that we take a look at the expected release date of Warzone Mobile. As we know the alpha testing phase of Warzone Mobile was officially announced on May 11th and according to the article from Activision, the closed alpha is only open to a limited number of participants via direct invitations. However, Activision would like to invite more players during the closed alpha phase and beyond as the developers reach milestones in development. This means that only a limited and select number of players will be allowed to play the alpha and the attest, and in recent days the first players have already received an invitation in their email inbox. Now, several days ago, a new email was sent to the alpha test players who already received the first email. In the new email it is confirmed that the player will soon be able to play the alpha test of Warzone Mobile. Thank you for opting in to help us close alpha for Project Aurora. Be on the lookout for another email from us in the future that will contain all the information you need to get started. Thanks again and we'll see you soon. Now that the alpha test has been available for a few days, some are asking when the game will finally be released. According to information from the developers, Warzone Mobile will use a new modified engine for mobile devices and this is adapted to IW9 mobile platforms. Most likely, the upcoming games Call of Duty Modern Warfare 2, Warzone 2 and Warzone Mobile Project Aurora will be built on the same engine, have similar weapons and mechanics. Now we take a look at new rumors about the probable release date of Warzone Mobile or the first Warzone beta. According to Activision employees, October 28th is supposed to mark a step change and is an incredible moment for the franchise. They call it a transformational moment for the franchise. Warzone on mobile devices and Call of Duty on Steam. So far there is no further information on what October 28th means for Warzone Mobile. Whether an open beta or a closed beta will be released on that day, a soft launch, the official release or a gameplay trailer for the new mobile title will come is unknown so far. Write me your opinion about it in the comments. After dealing with some news about Warzone Mobile from the new email we take a look at more known information about the upcoming mobile game. According to the new alpha test and the first gameplays and footages the gameplay is a one-to-one -one port with all known features like field upgrades, cash, loot and health system, kill streaks, kill cams and gulag. Unfortunately, the perspective mode is currently only tied to the ego mode. Furthermore, the current equipment system is still unfinished due to the test phase, and the air cargo loot offers nothing more than a basic weapon. Most likely this will be updated during the closed alpha test phase. As expected, Warzone Mobile's graphics are still poor and cannot be customized. This is to be expected in the early development phase of an alpha game for smartphones. The graphics of the game will improve significantly by the official launch. Also, the animations have been completely carried over from the PC version and the voice acting throughout the game is the same. Currently, the game is more than 4 GB in size. The current map to be played in the closed alpha test is none other than the well-known Verdansk map which was discovered by Dataminers weeks ago. The landscape of the map has not been changed and will be the same. Besides, some weapons have been discovered in Warzone Mobile which are also playable in Warzone. Among the weapons spotted so far are the X-16, the Combat Knife, the AX-50, the M4A1, the MP5, the August, the Model 860 Shotgun, RALMG, the RPG-7 Rocket Launcher as well as the AK-47 and the HKPSG-1 Sniper Rifle. Apart from that, another sniper rifle was discovered which was not included in the original game so far. 
most likely you can expect exclusive content for the mobile game. Now I would like to show you more information and suggestions for improvement before we take a look at some footages and the latest Warzone mobile gameplay in best quality. During the closed alpha test phase we discovered some interesting things like vehicles and a set system besides the already mentioned features. Furthermore the Rebirth Island map is in development and will be playable at the official release. Four locations have already been found, Radar, Island, Pillage and Canals. In general, the graphics of the alpha version is heavily degraded, but this is an identical battle royale as on PC and consoles. The first task of an alpha test is to improve the mechanics in the game and eliminate bugs. It doesn't come down to showing off incredible graphics. Now let's take a look at some footage and watch a short clip from the Warzone mobile gameplay. Unfortunately I can't show you any gameplay due to the non-disclosure agreement. But in my new telegram groups you can watch every gameplay without any problems. Feel free to write me your opinion about the gameplay and the footages in the comments, and that's it for the video. I hope you liked it and enjoyed it. If so, give it a thumbs up and if you're new to my channel be sure to subscribe and activate the notification bell. Don't forget to check out my other videos on my channel. Thank you so much.